Caring and community commitment seem to be embedded in the stones of the former Norfolk Street United Church, now reborn as Hope House and Lakeside Downtown. Built in 1855, it is Guelph's oldest extant church building in continuous use. It has seen many changes in its 165-year history. Changes in the building and changes in the city. In 1837, the Canada Company gave the land on which the church now stands to the Wesleyan Methodists. The congregation built a little red frame chapel in 1836. In 1855, the congregation had grown sufficiently to build a larger church. The cornerstone was laid on April 23, 1855, for the church that became one of the largest in southern Ontario at the time. Constructed of local limestone, it had a square tower and arched doorways. In 1876, local architect John Hall Jr. designed extensive alterations that gothicized the building, such as a taller tower, pinnacles, and embellished windows. Inside, a choir gallery and pipe organ were installed. In 1828, the church further expanded with a church school, gymnasium, and auditorium in preparation for their union with the United Church. Tragically, in 1938, a disastrous fire wiped out the entire interior of the church. In 1994, the building was again renovated with a new roof, eaves, stonework pointing, interior restoration, and handicapped access. The church has fostered several famous sons. There was James Evans, the minister in 1839, who developed the first syllabic writing among the Cree in Canada's north, Guelph's famous tenor, Edward Johnson, who began his musical career at age 12 as a boy soprano in the choir. Lester B. Pearson's father, Edwin, was the minister from 1917 to 1921. John McLean, who discovered the Grand Falls of Labrador and for 25 years was a factor and explorer for the Hudson's Bay Company, wrote Notes of a 25-Year Service in the Hudson's Bay Company published in London in 1849, which described his walks across Canada. He is credited with persuading the British government not to sell off the Western territories of Canada to the Americans. Over the years, Norfolk Street United made important social and cultural contributions to Guelph. The Sunday School started in 1828, operated uninterruptedly, until the church closed in 2012. The annual Christmas pageant continued for 44 years, one of the longest running in Ontario. In 2003, the church basement took on a new life, serving the community as a shelter and drop-in center for Change Now. In 2012, Lakeside Church bought the building and launched Hope House to help support people in the community. Incorporated as a poverty relief agency, Hope House has its own board of directors and is independent of Lakeside Church. They provide individuals and families with immediate relief, such as food and clothing, as well as individual support and programs to help them move out of poverty and towards an independent and hopeful future. In 2014, Lakeside Church held the first service in the sanctuary. In 2020, Hope House purchased the building and made changes to enhance its programs. Renovations were made to the front of the sanctuary to accommodate a larger thrust stage and sound equipment. The seating capacity is 400 people. The windows, except those which are stained glass in the tower and chancel, are of cathedral glass, leaded, topped with a trefoil design, they were inserted at various times over the years by individuals or groups of families whose names are at the base of each window. Hope House now has several areas for community care that have been lovingly adapted to new uses. 
The community room is a gathering space for parents and children and is used for meetings. Clients can access needed clothing from the clothing market or collect food and hygiene items from the food market. Hope House offices and meeting rooms are arranged around the former gym gallery space. The former hall with its unique walk around gallery above is now an inviting cafe where those in need can come for a coffee and a chat. The large painting on the wall was designed by Rachel, an art student at the University of Guelph. She outlined the elements of the design, then community members painted and added the words to complete the picture. The painting symbolizes the caring community that is Hope House and Lakeside Downtown, now settled into their new home in Guelph's oldest church building.